Hey, what's up you guys? This is your boy Shua from Ronin JKD and this is going to be my fight that I had with um, Eugene in Nina. So here we go. Kicks me right in the head. Um, I pretty much pulled a face to foot style there. And here I'm now. I'm trying to get him to go onto his back. So I'm trying to flip him over but of course he's not going to give that up at all. So I'm pretty much just now kind of feeling him what he's going to do. Uh, throw roundhouse, he backs up. Now I have to get his rhythm down. He is moving a lot. He's constantly moving up and down with his hands. He's throwing hard kicks because he's full of energy right now. You know, he's just the beginning of the fight. And right there he kicks me in the cup. So as he kicked me in the cup, I pretty much go back to my corner and uh, you don't actually see it, but I was, I was actually out for a minute and 30 seconds. Then here we tap gloves, go back at it, and now I'm a little bit more cautious, a little bit more aware of what he has. Here I throw a roundhouse and a spinning heel kick, which miss, because he moved out of the way. And he does a flying Superman punch, which kind of didn't work on me. But um, now here I'm trying to keep his hips away because he's trying to knee me, just like that. So I'm using my hand to keep his hips away, which his knees weren't really doing much damage. But um, I push him away finally. And then I'm still moving, trying to pick up his rhythm, pick up his, his beat pretty much, his timing. And I'm feeling him. He lands a roundhouse on me. I return one right back. And then still same thing. I do a hook kick with the front leg and I got a front kick to the chest and then here feeling him but then um, as he jabbed I jabbed at the same time or I crossed um, pushed him away with his, my hand and uh, cross uh, roundhouse spinning hook kick that missed and dodging punches he kicks me pretty hard on that one and kind of moves me back now I'm still trying to pick up his rhythm still trying to slow him down because he still has a lot of energy so I'm very calm I I'm not going to commit to something right now because it might cost me since he's still pretty strong so I'm still just seeing what he has and I know well t as time goes on with all the stuff he's throwing at me he's probably going to get gassed out he's going to slow down a bit and here I hit him with a cross and then a hook and so he knows I'm, I can exchange and then I kick him as time runs out I do a spinning heel kick and hooks him in the face and then I'm warmed up I'm a lot warmed up now and the ref pretty much jumps in because time went off second round I'm a lot more warmed up I kind of picked him up I'm slowly slowly reading his moves now because he's just kind of moving he's not attacking as much as he did in the first round so here I knee him he throws a hook misses and slips I throw around a hook roundhouse and then hook him again I do a super flying man punch which landed he does a speed in the heel kick which misses and then I kind of tell him to come forward and let's bang again then I do that that hook kick and then I jab and finally land it and then he's trying to pick me up now he's having a hard time trying to pick me apart because I'm moving back forward back forward and I noticed that he's trying to go for my legs because he doesn't like getting hit in the face so I just keep hitting him in the face and I go for the gut too and he throws a haymaker misses I fall on top of him put my forearm in his face and kind of just hold him down knee him at the same time elbowing him in the stomach putting my forearm in his throat you know keeping pressure on him so that they don't stand us back up but I'm I'm pretty much just laying on top of him putting weight on him so it's uncomfortable and making him gas out that way and knee him in the gut um, I don't think I have the volume up but you hear my Sifu start going hey hey every time I knee him it's kind of funny because I can hear him while I'm actually doing it or I mean like kneeing him but um here, my forearm's still in his face. I'm applying pressure, putting weight on him. I don't want him to roll, so I'm really holding on to him and just trying to stay in good position. Uh, here is a good position for me. 
you know, I don't have to get full mount because trying to get full mount might actually cost you your good position. So here, I'm okay already. You know, I'm just going to lay here, pound him a little bit, get him to be uncomfortable, elbow him in the gut. I can't elbow him in the face, but I do put my forearm in his throat. I try going for key lock, but he is a lot stronger than me, so he doesn't give that arm up very easily. So I am pretty much left to just smothering him, putting my forearm in his face, and just lay on top of him. Here, as you can see, I kind of made a mistake of going around towards his, his hip, trying to get full mount, and that's when he kind of throws me right into a guard. And so I get into guard. I'm like, that's fine. No, I'll just start punching him again. And so I go for the fa face and I miss. And I still keep going for that face. And then I stand up while punching him at the same time. And I go for a flying Superman punch that he pretty much kicked me right back off. <laughs> that was actually a ride. I'm not kidding. And so here we go. Third round. All right. Third round. Now I'm completely pumped i got his rhythm his timing down he's gassed out so, or he's not gassed but he's tired so now now i'm actually picking him apart and i know what he's gonna do now he's moving he's not really doing anything and so i'm actually more of the aggressor now so i do roundhouse jab cross he kind of pushes me away i'm picking him with my timing my rhythm they're fainting fakes and faints and he picks them up but then he can't really do much because he doesn't know he's second guessing himself and here i cross lands it just keep hooking him to the body and he throws one but hits my elbow or actually my shoulder and here i'm picking him apart just jab cross jab cross and he actually lands a really good one and so He's looking at my leg, and I noticed that right away. And so he drives for my leg. Excuse me. And then, same position, I fall on top of him. And here I am, same exact position, just laying on top of him, going downtown. <clears throat> Trying to make it uncomfortable for him as much as I can putting my forearm in his face uh, you kind of can hear him say or you actually see him tapping my forearm because he's very un uncomfortable <coughs> excuse me and yeah, I'm kneeing him in the gut putting my forearm in his throat he is having a really hard time trying to get up and get out of this position I am 10 pounds he lighter than him but I do know how to apply pressure and weight on someone. So uh, I noticed that he was trying to get the cage, which I understood why, because he was going to try to use the cage to his advantage. But I scoot him back a little bit. And then I turn my back towards my, the cage so that he won't be able to scoot towards the cage. And I, I really try to make it hard for him. So by smothering him, just applying pressure kneeing him in the stomach and holding on to him he really couldn't do much uh, I don't know I, I guess his ground isn't as strong as his stand up but here I'm pretty much just laying on top of him as you can see and now he's got his foot on the cage obviously I think that's where he wanted to be but I wasn't too worried because I knew that he wasn't going to be able to do much uh, we didn't have much time left so I heard the timer and I went for a key lock with my legs I almost got that arm under my leg and then the bell rung so ref stopped the fight that was it and the fight was pretty much over but I won the fight you know got my hand raised at the end of the night which was really 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 cool the neat thing about it this fight was I actually got to take pictures with his corner guy, and his corner guy was a UFC fighter. It was George Grigel, which was really, really cool. I got to hang out, chat with him just for a bit. But uh, hey, you guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching, and please, you guys, leave any comments below. Like the video, share it, 
and subscribe you guys don't forget to subscribe yeah check it yeah one time everybody if you're fired up the world is too cold everybody put them lighters up the weather's too chilly everybody needs a hood a place to call home with the fam it's all good as a child man i used to dream loud thoughts connected headphones into boombox sounds always want to change never answer the call pay attention to these scholars they put truth on the wall